in heaven, God found two of his servants just sitting together, doing nothing. They looked unhappy. Hey, it's heaven. God just be unhappy here. What is the reason of your unhappiness? We have nothing to do. We are idols. That's why we are unhappy. Okay, go fly down to the earth and find the two best things of the city and get for me. And thus, the servants of God flew away from heaven to earth. The statue was located at the heart of city. He was covered with gold. His eyes were made of sapphire. There was a precious ruby on his face belt. He set an example for everybody on how to be happy. Hence they called him the Happy Prince.
your eye. I can't do that. Please do it. It is a precious blue stone from India. It will help the writer live a good life. Okay, I will stay with you tonight and go to that writer tomorrow morning. Guys, and flew away to the writer's house. He found the house easy and entered the hole in the room. The bird kept the blue stone on a table and flew away. The writer looked up at the stone and said, you guys see it is a gift from one of my readers. Thank you, my number one friend. The writer was happy to have the precious blue stone. As the moon came up, the bird returned to the prince. I've come to say goodbye to you. I'm going to eat it tomorrow. Go, oh, bird. Don't go, please. For a sake of little girl's life. A little girl's life? Yes, I can see a little girl in the square. Who is who was selling the metal sticks and they had fallen down. If she goes without money, her father will beat her. But what do you how do you want me to help her? Take out my other eye and give it to the girl. The father will earn good money by selling it. She will earn a good money rather than you send her to school. Okay, I will stay with you tonight and go to that girl tomorrow morning. The bird was feeling very sad to take out the prince's second eye. He took the jewel to the girl and dropped it in her hand. The girl was very happy to see the jewel. What is And the she ran for home. The girl returned to the prince. He felt very bad for the prince as the prince had no eyes. Prince. You are very good, Prince. I won't leave you. Oh, now you please go to Egypt. It will be winter here and you can't survive here. No, I won't leave you. And the bird stayed there. He told the Prince many stories and entertained him. The Prince was happy to hear them. Oh, my friend, please fly over the city and tell me what is going on. The bird flew over the city and told the Prince what he all see. The bird returned to the prince. Rich people are enjoying eating and drinking. On other hand, the poor people are starving for food. Some small kids were suffering from winter. They wanted to live under a bridge, but the guard didn't allow them. I am covered with fine gold. Take out and distribute to all the poor ones. They should not suffer. The bird sadly took all of the gold from the people and distributed among the poor people. They were happy to receive some gold. And then came the snow. The whole city was covered with the snow. The bird can't survive in the freezing cold. He died one night. When the prince came to know next morning, something cracked inside the hill. It was Prince Metal Heart which broke. When people saw the bird at the prince's feet, they complained about it. A few officers They complain about it. A few officers a few officers come to the prince. Isn't the prince looking ugly? Yes, he looks like a beggar than a prince. And the dead bird is sweet. Yep, who is clean this man? I think we should have to remove this statue. They removed the statue and burned it. But this, the servants of God returned to heaven with two things, offered it to God. God. What did you want for me? This was a bird and broken metal heart. God asked them why those were the best things of the city. The servants told God that the heart belongs to the statue of the happy prince. You did a good job, really. All those things are the best. Uh, the world sing, the world will sing the beautiful song, and the happy prince is stand in my city of the gold. Story is that we must help the poor and the needy ones. 